we've made the decision. The decision's been made. It's there's no question about it. We are going to make that homemade dog food for my dog now. We're switching over. <laughs> That's right. We discussed that earlier in the week, and we're making the switch from regular old buy it kibble in the grocery store dog food, Purina dog food, over to homemade dog food that we make in the crock pot every weekend. Can I ask mm. Kelly? Because I mean. First, I heard you talking about this is after you went to a party and a friend yes. had said the same, said that that's what they do for their dog. Yes. Somebody you grew up with. Yes. And this was within a month, two, three weeks ago. Correct. Yep. Had, was that the first time you ever entertained the notion of making food for your own animal? Yeah, I never heard of that. I never, except. And now you're all in. I'm all in. Well, I, I do scramble our, our dog and egg every Sunday morning. But, is, is the dog unhealthy in any way? No, no, uh, but I feel the dog will sleep better. The dog has come to where she's uh, pacing and getting up many times in the night, and I think it might have to do with allergies. I don't know. She does sneeze a little bit sometimes. She'll get enough sometimes. exercise during the day. How old is the animal? 12. And I don't know if she gets enough exercise. No, she's not getting enough exercise during the day. No question about that. They need to go out and run a, 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 a couple need, times. I need a day. to walk her. I need. I need. We need to walk the dog more. But the friend told us that she had switched over to making dog food in the crock pot or food in the crock pot for their dog, and that their dog had been sleeping better, no allergies, no issues, behaving better, no shedding, very very little shedding, and their dog sheds. And so at that point, my wife and I thought, should we make human dog food, make homemade dog food for the dog? I think if my wife and I had been in that situation at that same party, Kelly, with you as you and your wife were, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the discussion would have be begun and ended in the car before we got home. Hell no. Well, <laughs> well we are not devoting an afternoon and a crock pot mm -hmm. for the dog's food. That's where the discussion began, and we chatted about it, chatted about it. And for a few days after, I pushed it. I said, we should do this. We should make her dog, because she'll be so much healthier, and she'll live longer, and she'll live a better life. So my wife texted our friend who had gone back home to Minnesota, and the friend said, well, here's the recipe. Here's what we do. And she said, if you start, it on, start the dog on homemade dog food, Warning, you can never go back. Because, <laughs> no more cantilation? Because you will turn their nose up at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. What, what was the one that came? It looked like a burger. Remember that? Grains burger. The Gain, Gains Gains burger. burger. <laughs> I, we used to feed those to our dog all the time. Those were cool. They were easy. You just, you just <laughs> crumble it and go. Oh, they were cheap. They loved it. Were they not? I don't know. Well, canned dog food was a lot cheaper. Well, I'm sure. We used to pay a quarter for it. Uh, sure. A quarter for a can. So, so where are you going to be getting your raw materials? Yesterday. You're I going went, to go to the horse uh, no, slaughtering? I went to the organic <laughs> food mart. Yesterday, okay. <laughs> oh my God! And here, here are the ingredients. I bought uh, three pounds of ground turkey, bag of kale, carrots, brown rice, blueberries, and peas. That's what you mix all together. Mm. Stew it up. What's the What's the the binder? The filler? I think it's the. <laughs> I think it's the rice. I didn't hear snout or anus in there. <laughs> Hey. He doesn't have to have that. You know, is that Biggie's diet? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> is, is it that your new restrictive diet? Biggie? Uh, Biggie, ground turkey, kale, <laughs> carrots, brown rice, blueberries, and peas. That's what you've been looking it for. Sounds about right. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I said to my wife, in a pinch, I'll have some of that. She goes, you are never to eat that dog's food. <laughs> that is dog food. And I said, but really, listen to what's in it. Ground turkey, kale, carrots, brown rice, blueberries, and peas. I said, I can stew that up and be just fine for an evening. And she said, don't you ever let me come home and catch you eating a bowl of that dog's food. I'm going to count those baggies in the freezer. <laughs> now, should I even bring up... Did you discuss this at all with the animal's vet? Well, now that's a question right there. Lee is on the line, I think, asking the same question. Lee, you wanted to talk about this homemade dog food. Go ahead. Hi. Good morning, guys. Love your show. Thank you. I just wanted to let you know I am an avid dog lover. I have two labs at home, mm -hmm. and I thought about doing this. I consulted with my vet. There's a lot more to it. You really have to make sure that it's very balanced. It can't have too many carbs. And sugars is a big no-no. Mm -hmm. um, so you really have to make sure that you have a recipe that is definitely designed for her weight and in its balance. Mm. Okay. We didn't do any yeah. of that. You didn't throw out all the old Purina, did you? Yeah. yeah. I hope you kept some of <laughs> the you're going to come home each day, take a scoop of this mush, yeah. slop it in a bowl, and be like, you're healthy. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> or you're going to come home at night, and you're going to have to feed the dog, and you're going to be out of food, and you're going to have to start making a meal. Well, that's right. That's a big problem. You know, thank you very much, Lee. Thank you, Lee. I have to tell you, I woke up this morning with huge regret. Regret? I, I thought, we should not do this. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I thought, we should not do this. I mean, no way. You know, why are we this doing is, this? This is a multi-year commitment. You, yeah. I pushed it. I pushed you it. You did. And it's once a week for years, as you said. And, and, and I thought, but why, why are every, we doing this? So many decisions you've made in haste. It, yes. It, it exactly. turned out to be the yeah, wrong The wrong choices. decision. And I'm going to I've always been told that you can't change a dog's diet sl- quickly. Quickly. You, or have, you, have, to do it, you have to wean it off. So, I mean... If you would have just given her a scoop of this, mm-hmm. I mean, she might yep. end up pooping everywhere. everywhere. You're right. The house, You're right. You're just right. everywhere. Just turkey. Sh- you know what? I'm going <laughs> to. Grand turkey. Everywhere. Her. I'm going <laughs> to say to my wife, let's not do this. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not going to. Now, I spent $50 on food yesterday. And, in, and that's another but it's thing. all edible. It is. I mean, yeah. deep, I, I mean, Daddy can eat that. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to make some ground turkey and rice and eat it myself this weekend. Mm-hmm. Watch the dog eyeball you. <laughs> the dog won't want that. As you shovel this into your maw. <laughs> Dogs can go in the kitchen for potato chips. Let, let, let's you should see. get down on all fours and eat like the animal would. <laughs> You're one step From away, Kelly. You know, get the dog's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. God, do you think I might just poop all over the house? Oh, my, oh, God. Stop. Oh my God. This is He's horrible. dragging his butt again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little worried about that. So I'm going to, just as I as we were having this discussion, I thought, what in what the world are, are we doing? Into? It's not too late, though. We haven't made it yet. And all that stuff we can eat. Yeah, you can eat kale. You can eat turkey. Yeah, but what about in your wife's mind? You've already gone down this road. She's not partly. Uh, well, yeah, but did she, she come around slowly? Yeah, or all I, I'm the one that pushed it. I really pushed it. So because that guy is so cool. Yeah, yeah, he is. I it's, mean, that guy was your uh, your coolest friend yeah. in middle school all yeah. the way through, and he's still the coolest guy you know. Everything he does, you know, what is he doing now? It's like, oh, he's very big into like uh, aqua sports. He does a lot of wakeboarding and stuff like that, and and, and he's very big into boating and. Like I'll say, and, and like at that Christmas party, I said, "Oh, I play a lot of pickleball." And he's like, "What? <laughs> Pickle? Pickle? Oh, yeah, no. I was out of the lake. I did a gnarled 360. <laughs> awesome man. I don't even know what that is." He said, "What are you doing?" I said, "Well, I'm playing I'm a lot of pickleball, shopping for paddles <laughs> over at the senior center." What? He said, "What are you talking about?" He's telling everybody. Mm. So I'm. <laughs> Just as we started talking about this, what in the world is happening to me? Why am I doing this? Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm going to tell my wife today, let's not do that. Let's just, let's it's a commitment. Just, it's too much of a commitment. I mean, the dog has had 12 years of one style that's of food. Right, that's right. And, and yeah. that's old yeah. age for a dog. That's right. And we've bought decent dogs. It's, we hadn't gone to a kennel ration or uh, Old Roy. <laughs> no, you're still doing good on that. We, we've done I mean, Mighty Old Jack Roy. or whatever we, it was. We, yeah, we hadn't done Mighty Jack. We hadn't done any of that <laughs> stuff. The refrigerated stuff. We had. We get we get her some pretty good food, so I'm gonna I'm gonna push. I'd leave back. it at that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I, and it's not too late to does leave. Does does your animal have a meal time, or do you just put food out and then she grazes during the day? That's another thing. She we love this. We put it out in the morning and she grazes during the day, which is great. There's no competition. Exactly, and there's no. Here's what else we're afraid of. If you put it out in the morning and she loves it, as she, I'm sure she would, this homemade food. Oh, yeah, she will wake you up in the morning. Like, let me let's see. Oh, let's see. So let's that's a, that's always you don't ever want to get them so food dependent. Mm-hmm. And then if you go out of town, you know it's like what you got to take the food mm-hmm. with you, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Anthony, you're talking about a homemade dog food. Go ahead. Yeah, I called you earlier in the week and I told you how my wife does it. Yep. Uh, the recipe you got is wonderful, mm-hmm. but it's not good to give your dog that much rice. A good substitute would be uh, just get some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, cook them up, use some sweet potato, and throw it in there. Because cross pot, you're going to be cooking three, four times a week because mm-hmm. you will go through it pretty fast. Yep. And also use maybe like a organic dry food to put the food on top of All right. as a filler. That way you're not spending... $130 a week cooking four days a week for your animal because it gets tiring and you'll get over it quicker than you can say I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay. These are all red flags. Now, mm-hmm. you should test all this on Biggie first, all the four <laughs> <minutes>. <laughs> 
Thank you for the fun. Yeah, that, that sweet potato <laughs> a case study. Yeah, but to throw up some chicken and sweet potato and throw it in this mm-hmm. cage and see what he does. Is rice with. good for dogs? I mean, they don't eat it in the wild. I would, as, Do they? as he <laughs> but said, I think it's in some of the foods, right? Is that yeah. just a filler? No, it is a filler. I think it's a filler to keep them full. Yeah, and, yeah. And keep, I, I think he's barking. probably right, though. You need it real. It's brown rice. Limited. Though. It's brown. You know, it's better than white. And at the organic food mart, I was. <laughs> You know, I was I was debating between quinoa. Hi, you making your own dog food? I see. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody eats this combination. Oh, kale, raw turkey. Mm-hmm. Oh, delightful. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> We're not doing this. You hate yourself in a week. We're not doing I can't this. Do this. I, 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 I can't do I this. I cannot. As, as, no. he, as y'all are talking, the light bulb just went over my head. We yeah. are not doing this. When you're up at 5 a.m. making chicken thighs because <laughs> you're out of food and yeah. the dog's hungry. I, I got to do this before I go to work. <laughs> I am not doing yeah. that. Honey, where, I see the boneless organic thighs, but where are the boneless, <laughs> skinless thighs? I can't do this. We're not doing this. John, you're talking about dog food now. Go ahead. Well, if you hadn't decided you weren't going to do it yet, remember when you go on vacation, you take the dog with you. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to make enough of it. And take with you for the entire vacation. He's right. Great. He's right. He's right. Great. And we do that. My wife made a declaration two years ago where she goes, the dog goes. So we now, we now, the dog travels with us all with the time. a rolling cooler yeah. behind The dog has to have his own cooler. <laughs> Dog's got his own Yeti. Yeah. It's like a caravan. It's like a wagon train. God, you're right. Which was a dog food. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> wagon train. In the 50s. Wagon train. Wagon train. Yeah, oh, yeah. Still, we used to run into the cabin. Oh, yeah, we know it. We know dog food. We know wagon train. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cooking your own dog food might be the most disposable income thing I've ever Oh, my heard. God. Yeah. I mean, you talk about embracing the lifestyle. Uh, yeah. I, we're not doing and that. And the biggest waste of time, yeah. even if it is in a crock pot. We're not doing that. I've, I've just made the We cannot do that. <laughs> Two Wheel Hardo, you're talking about. How do you feel about homemade dog food? Yeah, so I had an Akita one time. She died of old age. She lived a long time. Took her to the vet for a heartworm checkup and stuff, and the vet's going on and on about how great she looked. Mm-hmm. She said, she's in such great shape for her age. I've never seen an Akita look so good at this age. What are you feeding her? And I said, well, I've been feeding her old Roy since she was born. And she's like, oh, my God, you can't feed her that. It's poison. I'm like, you just said yeah. the best-looking dog you've ever seen. Yeah. White people with dogs are crazy because when given the opportunity, a dog will eat a turd. So I'll just, <laughs> oh, you only feed them this and that. It's so stupid. He's right. Fact. fact. He's he's not, he might have never fact, been more right. He's not wrong. There's the last yeah. word. Okay, that's it. He's yeah. got it. When given a choice, a dog will eat a turd. We've all seen it. Oh, sure. Actually, Thank you. Too, Sometimes their own. <laughs> or out of the cat box. Yeah. Cat turds. The mix of things you're trying to give the dog, the dog might say, I'd rather eat uh, yeah. a turd. Maybe. maybe. That's mm-hmm. why they do that sometimes. I'm putting it into it. I, I'm not. We're not doing that. We're just not going. I cannot do that. What am I going to do with all this ground turkey? <laughs> I do have a lot of ground. I'll, 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 I'll have a turkey loaf. Make a smoothie for Biggie. I'll make a, <laughs> yeah, a kale smoothie. With I'll make kale, blueberries, board. and rice. Exactly. Ground turkey. Exactly. Ugh. Now, Dave, here's the big story that I know you're wanting to cover. Please. The U.S. Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee. <laughs> the U.S. D-A-T-I-E-A. <laughs> They're that back committee? at it. That committee. <laughs> Those bastards. They're hard at work right now on their guidelines for next year. And the big word that's already leaking out of that is they're going to make the potato not a vegetable anymore. They're going to the reclassify. They're going to reclassify the potato and put it in the same group as rice and other carbohydrates. And the Potato Council said, by God, you'll do it over our dead body. We're vegetables. We are vegetables. I don't know about that. Yeah. What, what's, the, what's the logic? The, the, guy, the problem is a lot of schools and cafeterias are getting away with saying, we're providing children vegetables by serving French fries. Oh, that's bull. And mm. so Michelle Obama said, oh, wait a minute now. Oh, thanks, ago. Obama. <laughs> Again? A few years ago. So now they are saying, we really can't just have this classified as a vegetable. We just cannot do that. There was a time, was it, I can't remember which Republican president, but there was a, the joke running around was, I don't even know how accurate it was, that the the Reagan administration classified ketchup Ketchup. as a vegetable because it was tomato based. That's right. And that may have been true. And it may still be. I don't know. Because when you look at it, 
Potatoes are the most commonly consumed vegetable in America, according to the USDGAC. Mm. And they are, and the USDA, we eat 49 pounds of potatoes. Every person eats an average of 49 pounds of potatoes a year. Wow. That's and a, it's got to be 45 French fries, right? It's got to be. Don't you think that's why? French or fries. Or tots. That's two pounds of, God, wait a minute. That's four pounds of potatoes a month for the average American. Mm. It's 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 got to be. That's uh, a lot. It's French fries. It's French fries. French fries. Yeah. I would think so. Yeah, I think so too. Second is tomatoes, which is classified as a vegetable in the government's eyes. That's yeah. the second most consumed vegetable, 31 pounds a person. So I bet they are counting ketchup in that. I mean, it goes in. Well, it goes it is made ketchup. from tomatoes. Because yeah. otherwise, do we eat that many tomatoes? Well, it's like pizza sauce count. If you know, <laughs> spaghetti, uh, sure. yeah, spaghetti it's, sauce. It's in, it's in pasta sauce. And, and, and you could slice them on a sandwich. Yeah. And then third is onions. Only nine pounds of onions. Yeah. Well. I, I, but they're that, usually like part of something else. Yeah, or, yeah that's It's right. just crap. I mean, I, I never, when I was six years old, if you'd have told me a potato was, I would have said no. Yeah. It doesn't have seeds. I always thought vegetables had seeds. Mm -hmm. Vegetables have seeds. That's, that's your uh, criteria? I think so. And it's not a fruit. It's not sweet. No, definitely not a fruit. So they're going to put it in the grain category, which is where rice and some other carbohydrates are. Yeah, it should be with rice and breads and, mm -hmm. and grains. Yeah, because it is it's it's huh. it's nothing but carbohydrates. It's starch and, and yeah, carbs. it's starch. That's right. Huh. Uh, so that's the, their five groups they divide into are vegetables, grains, fruit, dairy, and protein. And so far, forever, the potato has been a vegetable. But now, as of next year, it might not be a vegetable. Yeah, and nobody eats a potato. Do you ever eat a potato by itself when it's just a potato, no butter, no salt, no fried? Well, now sometimes you'll take those your Yukon Golds and 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 boil them, boiled potatoes. Yeah, I put butter and salt and pepper. Yeah, you always do yeah. because they're. They, I mean, you could roast them. Yeah, yeah, roast yeah. these. The are good the roasted. Way. Yeah, they are. They are good, but they they have a little oil on them too. And salt, you got oil and salt, salt and, and pepper. pepper. Got to. Yeah, and usually you dip it in something. I don't eat a lot of potatoes. I used to eat a lot of potatoes. I don't eat a lot of potatoes. All right. I can let potatoes go. Uh, fr I mean, of course, I love French fries, but I'm never just drawn. To I eat more rice than potatoes. Do you? Oh God, yes. I hope it's brown. Oh, hell no. I've got some extra if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> I can make you a pretty good deal. Yeah. <laughs>